what I will present here is uh, not only the data but also the reflection about prodromal cases and preclinical diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. My main field of interest is the identification of biomarkers of vulnerability for the development of Alzheimer's disease, so biomarkers that can predict the, uh, the development of Alzheimer's disease possibly several years before the first symptoms. So, uh, dementia is, is a very vast and difficult field. Uh, from a neurobiological point of view, it is important to understand how and why some lesions which are present in the human brain with a normal brain aging become much more numerous, uh, they invade the brain and lead to pathology. In the particular case of Alzheimer's disease, which is the most frequent form of dementia, uh, there are two main approaches. One approach is uh, to understand the pathological events, to understand the why. There is an hypothesis around the accumulation of amyloid, there is an hypothesis around uh, the accumulation <coughs> of uh, intraneural pathology. Another way to proceed is uh, to understand and to identify who is really vulnerable among elderly persons to develop Alzheimer's disease. But on, not only in terms of probability, but if possible in terms of certainty. So to reach what we call right now uh, in neurobiological research, uh, individual prediction. And uh, this will be a very exciting field for the next 10 years. Uh, be able to identify very early and before the symptoms uh, the pathological process. Yeah. On the other hand, uh, biochemistry, molecular biology, try to identify the exact mechanism. But for the moment, for Alzheimer's disease, we don't have a definite answer. For persons with the first uh, memory problems, we will be able, after 10 years, after 10 to 15 years, very clearly to identify individually who will develop the disease. Of course, it opens a very important ethical question, because uh, identify is one thing, be able to cure is another thing, and without uh, uh, curative treatments, the identification could be uh, useless. So what is important right now, not only for Alzheimer's disease, uh, uh, but also for other psychiatric disorders, is not only to identify vulnerable individuals, but be able to treat appropriately these individuals. For the moment for Alzheimer's disease, we have several attempts, but not uh, a real curative treatment. I think it could be very useful to have uh, uh, this kind of, uh, of congress uh, in, in specific fields. Uh, geriatrics and neurodegeneration could be a field, mental health could be another field. Uh, uh, what will be important is to have uh, the input for different professionals, for different disciplines, to have the complementary views. Uh, there are several congress on uh, uh, m classical medical congress with uh, uh, rather uh, uh, the repetition of the same views coming from professionals from the same field with a presentation of data. What will be original here is to have, for instance, the complementary views coming from uh, imaging, biotechnology, but also clinical and also social aspects.